Hi everybody, I'm Mark Jacobson with an MGM Minute for the week of June 13th, 2022, overlooking Park MGM, New York, New York, and MGM Grand right in the Las Vegas Strip. Here's what's happening across MGM Resorts International. June is Pride Month. In this past week, MGM Resorts recognized three Las Vegas-based LGBTQ plus nonprofit organizations with charitable donations. Representatives from the center, the HRC of Las Vegas, and Las Vegas Pride were on hand to accept the donations at Luxor's Temptation Sunday's Pride celebration. Temptation Sundays is Las Vegas' longest running LGBTQ plus pool party. Today we are here to honor three very important groups and organizations that provide services and outreach to our community. And it's because of these three organizations, our community continues to strive to be together, to love together, and to grow stronger. Also in support of Pride Month, MGM Resort CEO and President Bill Hornbuckle has posted a message recognizing and celebrating the LGBTQ plus community's hard fought struggle for equality. In it, he discusses the company's recent partnership with Included Health, which provides employees and their loved ones with easier access to LGBTQ plus affirming care. The piece can be found on Bill's LinkedIn page. Heading out to Western Massachusetts now, MGM Springfield employees took part in the first ever Springfield Pride Parade. They joined thousands of participants in marching the streets of downtown just steps away from the resort. The parade route ended at City Hall, site of the inaugural Pride Parade Block Party. MGM Springfield served as the Block Party's presenting partner and sponsor. We just participated in the first Pride Parade in the history of the city of Springfield. We're so proud to be here today, so proud to be a part of it, and I'm so thankful to be able to enjoy this experience with our amazing team yeah! members. Additionally, MGM Resorts Empire City Casino in Yonkers, New York is celebrating Pride Month by lighting up its porticature with a rainbow display each night through June 30th. MGM Resorts has a long-standing history of supporting and celebrating the LGBTQ community while keeping diversity and inclusion as a top priority. The company was recently named as one of the best places to work for LGBTQ plus equality by the Human Rights Campaign for the 11th consecutive year. Back in 2004, MGM Resorts was one of the first companies in the gaming and hospitality industry to offer health benefits to same-sex couples. This year, MGM Resorts launches Love Out Loud, a multi-year campaign which seeks to embolden people to be their true authentic selves. In other news, MGM Resorts' Las Vegas-based Veterans Employee Network Group recently paid a visit to the Southern Nevada Veterans Home in Boulder City, Nevada. 32 volunteers played bingo, gave out prizes, and spent quality time with the residents while thanking them for their service and sacrifice. MGM Resorts remains committed to supporting military members and their families year-round. This is part of Focused on What Matters, MGM Resorts' larger commitment to social impact, sustainability, and community engagement. Uh, this was a phenomenal event to help ensure that the veterans know that they're not forgotten. We had a chance to go out and spend time with them. We got to hear their story. We got to play bingo with them. And, and the camaraderie was just wonderful. On another note, this past week, MGM Resorts Beau Rivage Resort and Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi, recognized the 77th anniversary of D-Day. Beau Rivage's Veterans Employee Network Group welcomed 104-year-old Pearl Harbor survivor Frank Emmond to the resort. Emmond was a French horn player on the dry docked USS Pennsylvania. Throughout the attack on June 7, 1941, he helped carry people to safety as a stretcher bearer. Emmons served 30 years in the military and holds the Guinness record as the oldest band conductor. He was honored for his service as part of Beau Rivage's ongoing military recognition program. Shifting gears now, May was another record-setting month for BetMGM casino players in Michigan. Over the course of four weeks, more than $1 million in jackpot prizes were awarded. The last two weeks of May saw the company award $800,000 alone on its exclusive in-house games. Throughout the first half of the year, BetMGM Casino in Michigan has awarded almost $8 million in jackpot earnings. And finally, MGM Resorts continues to recruit and hire new employees across the country. Interested candidates can apply for a variety of positions by visiting the MGM Resorts Hiring Events page. The event page is updated frequently and can be found at careers.mgmresorts.com. 
And for more information on any of these events or happenings, feel free to contact us at media at mgmresorts.com. Have a great day.